Zipping along busy Route 17, you might figure Elmer's as just a battered old barn. But for those curious enough to stop in, they quickly discover this is a treasure trove full of seemingly every kind of collectible. What do you look for in a place oh, like it's, this? It's uh, the unusual. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the key, I think, is it's uh, something that uh, catches your eye. Eye catching only begins to describe the many thousands of nuggets inside Elmer's barn. An antiques mall now featuring some four dozen separate vendors selling shelves after shelves worth of old stuff. What is this? It's a rabbit. One year old rabbit. You think somebody's actually going to buy that? Oh, yes. People love that stuff. Ivana Wilson owns the barn. It's her father, Elmer, who first opened the business back in 1976. And that was one of his old signs. Somebody brought it in. I had to get it. Elmer died just last year after decades of collecting, selling, and putting this roadside landmark on the map. This was his passion. Back in the day, Ivana remembers Elmer coming home day after day with his pickup truck loaded with his latest stash of secondhand trinkets and treasures. And we'd all have to unload it as kids, and then he would go get an ice cream after. All the village kids would help. We have people stop in here that said, I haven't been here since I was a child. They'll stop in here and, and remember it just because it's Elmer's. With three floors, an array of aisles and back rooms, Elmer's barn is the kind of place you could spend hours, maybe even days, exploring. You probably have to come back more than once to, to catch it all, for sure. And while there's no shortage of traditional antiques, there's even more here that could leave you scratching your head, pondering, what would I do with something so odd? One man's trash is another man's treasure. Words Elmer Wilson lived by. In hometown Cooper's Mills, Steve Finnick, WMTW News 8.